Welcome to Hope Sides Vespers. Today is uh, February 25, 2022. As I said last week, like many others, uh, that we are, we were about to witness something uh, of a great uh, calamity about to unfold. And so it did. This week we have witnessed the in, incalculable loss of life and human suffering in Ukraine. And uh, though these things have been predicted to happen, it's always uh, heartbreaking to see the many people who are homeless and taking shelter here and there. Let us pray for the peace to prevail in Ukraine, if at all that's possible. 
We are glad to have uh, Pastor Yashwanath and his friends and family join us today as we eagerly await uh, the message he has for us today. It says in Psalm 86, 11, Teach me your way, Lord, that I may rely on your faithfulness. Give me an undivided, undivided heart that I may fear your name. Unless we have an undivided heart, we will face all the division and all the calamities that we are witnessing. We know this. And so let us dedicate ourselves, at least, at the very least, ourselves and our families to have an undivided heart and to be teachable in the Lord's ways. For our opening song, uh, let us listen to the very familiar hymn or song called Come Holy Spirit. May you be blessed by this song. Now we will have the opening prayer by Brother Royce Sutton. Let's bow our heads. Heavenly Father, we'd like to thank you for this evening, Lord. We're thankful that we have embarked on the Holy Sabbath hours. Heavenly Father, we pray that you'll send your Holy Spirit to be among us, Lord. Bless us, teach us, guide us. Heavenly Father, I'd like to thank you for everyone gathered here, Lord, wherever they may be, Lord, around the world or here in the U.S. We pray that they'll have a special blessing as they sit and partake in this worship service. Heavenly Father, we pray that you will be with the speaker, Pastor Yeshua. Be with him, give him the words, give him the strength to speak to us. Heavenly Father, help us as we hear these words, Lord, that we'll put them into practice, Lord, and we'll 
make a special effort, Lord, to change from our ways, Lord, and allow you to infill us with your Holy Spirit, Lord, that's going to guide us and lead us in your path. Heavenly Father, we'd like to remember everyone around the world, Lord, we're living in difficult times, and we can see what just took place this week, Lord, over there in Ukraine, Lord. We pray for everyone over there, especially, Lord. We pray that you'll keep them safe, Lord. There's so many innocent lives over there being affected, Lord. And we pray that you'll send your holy angels to watch over them, protect them, keep them safe. And we pray that you'll end this war, Lord, and that peace will come again to the Ukrainian people, Lord. And also around the world, wherever there's destruction and turmoil, we pray that you'll intervene, Lord, and put an end to it, Lord, so that men and women can go back and have in peace, peace where they can serve you, Lord, and they can be with the families and friends and rejoicing for the good things that you have done for them. Heavenly Father, we pray for everyone around the world who are gathered on your holy Sabbath day. May we put away the things of this world and just focus on you on this day, Lord, and not just today, Lord, but for the upcoming week as well. Heavenly Father, guide us. Help us to always be aware, to be cognizant of the times we are living in, the days we are living in. We are at the, at the close of Earth's history, Lord, and we know that you're going to come very soon for your people, Lord. Help us to be ready. Help us to prepare to meet you. Help us to get others ready, Lord, to meet you. Heavenly Father, we look forward to go home to be with you, Lord. Will there be no more pain, no sickness, no sorrow, no death? Because all these things will be former things, Lord. They'll be all passed away. Heavenly Father, help us to be faithful and keep us until then. May we ever keep that hope within us and let it shine to others, Lord. Help us to have that peace, Lord, that we need to get to these times. Keep us again and bless us as we continue to worship you this evening, we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Welcome. We will have Ms. Amira Potumori read the scripture reading. John 16, 13. However, when he, the spirit of truth, has come, he will guide you all into all truth for he will not speak of his own authority but what he hears he will speak and he will tell you things to come thank you now we will have uh, the introduction by dr sohana chikatla so pastor yeshwan damgol he has been in the adventist church as a teacher pastor and a headmaster for almost 42 years he has uh two children and three grandchildren uh, i know him through his son uh, his son was in spicer as a student uh, santosh uh, and we know him to be a really uh, you know sweet person and when i approached santosh he said yeah my dad will be the best so we are so glad he could be here. He has so much experience in the Adventist Church, and uh, I'm sure he has a fantastic message for us. Uh, welcome, sir. Uh, we are so excited, and I hope this is not your last, and I hope you can keep coming back and uh, preaching to us uh, over and over again. Thank you so much for accepting this um, time. Uh, I know it's really early in the morning for you, but we are so glad you could join us. Thank you, Suhana, for arranging today's speaker. And now here is Pastor Yashwant Amgo. Thank you, Pastor. 
and thank you dr sohana introducing me and this is the first time i am speaking in your church god has given me the opportunity to speak in your church i am very 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 happy because many they will not get this opportunity to speak especially in america i am in india it is my happiness god has given me the opportunity to speak to you in uh, this sabbath evening god has blessed us all the six days and he has taken care of us and brought us very safely to worship the god in beginning of the sabbath day once again i must thank the pastor and dr sohana and all the church members i am very glad to have this prayer in this evening so today's my topic is the holy spirit guides or the holy spirit gives the direction to us as a adventist as a christian people in our life it is very important that the holy spirit should have in our life as a members we have to think that is the holy spirit is working in us is the holy spirit is taking care of us why did god send the holy spirit to us all these things you have to think because god has given us the holy spirit to use it in our life very 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 important so for that sake already we have read that uh, the scripture reading it says that the spirit the spirit of the truth is come he will guide you into all the truth the holy spirit is there to guide us if i am going away from god if i am going away from the truth the holy spirit is there to guide us so how many are using this holy spirit it is very important so for that it says that christians need the daily direction of the holy spirit daily movement one movement you take whatever you are doing as a christians we need the holy spirit so dear members the first point i wanted to talk to you about uh, the directs our thinking are we thinking good or bad our thinking is very important as a christians think properly think uh, how it is it is good or not what is my thinking what is our thinking as a church members you are coming here and you are worshiping the god you have to think that yes holy spirit only brought me to the church to attend the church and get the blessing from the god that is the holy spirit so for that sake it says that whatsoever things are of good report think on these things philippians chapter 4 verses 8 it says like this if you are having the bible you can read philippians chapter 4 verses 8 anyone Philippians chapter 4 verses 8 Can you read me for me Anyone the members Okay once again I will read Philippians chapter 4 verses 8 Finally brethren whatsoever things are true whatsoever things are honest whatsoever things are just whatsoever things are pure we have to think it what brother and we have to think what is the truth think that true it is true or not then whatsoever things are honest are we doing the honest work in our daily life or in our society or in our 
workplace, working place, honest. Honest is very important as a Christian, I'm saying. Very, very important as a Christian. You must have that honesty. And whatsoever things are just and whatsoever things are pure. Are we thinking pure? Many people, what they are doing, they are dwell on their negative and impure things. Always some people, they talk about the negative. No positive at all. They think about only negative and they think about only impure. But as a Christians, you must have the positive thinking. You must have a pure thinking. God has given the Holy Spirit. It will guide us. It will tell us what you are doing or what you are thinking is not correct. It is not pure. It is not a pure. It, it will tell us you are not honest in your life. So change your life. Change your thinking. That's what God says. So that's what <coughs> it says that <coughs> with the deliberate action, we must replace negative with the positive and unholy with holy thoughts. The Holy Spirit will help us to do so. Dear members, it is very important in our life. Think pure. Think positive. Think always what if I am doing wrong. Ask the Holy Spirit. I am in wrong place. Please guide me. Please help me. I am in wrong way. I am in negative place. Think properly, brothers and sisters. As a Christians, we use the Holy Spirit for thinking. Secondly, I'm using the second word is that directs our seeing. How you are seeing, what you are seeing, where you are seeing. This is all you have to see. That's what it says, Hebrews chapter 12, verses 2, it says, looking unto Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith. Jesus is the author. He is the beginning. He is the end. Do you have that faith? Do you have faith? Do you believe Jesus Christ? When you are seeing, when you are looking, brothers and sisters, we have to see that our God is there. He is the beginning. He is the end. He gives the faith. He gives the truth. Brothers and sisters, what you have to do? You have to have faith in God. With the faith, we have come to the church. Yes, God is there. God is taking care of us. God is there to bless us. So for that sake only, I am coming to the church. Not for any other things. You have to believe that there is God in church. So for that sake only, God has given the churches to come to the church and worship the God. Many people, they don't come. In my service, I have seen that many are not coming. They are having the only business. They are busy with their business. They are busy with their work. They are not coming because we don't see properly. That's what he says. Some Christians look for the bad instead of the good. They always look only the bad, not the good. They see only faults and the failure. Many are what happens, we are having the faults. You observe that. Oh, he is doing that. He is wrong. I am correct. That's what we are thinking. We are telling that. We are seeing and saying that I am correct. He is wrong. Dear members, it is not good. We have to see that uh, what uh, our God is there to take care of us and he, what he does, he will uh, tell us what faults you are doing. You don't do it. What uh, failure is there uh, Ask God, God, take care of me. Any difficulties, any problems, anything comes, ask our God. See God. 
God, you only take care of me. You only lead me. You only help me. That's what uh, we have to see properly. When you are seeing properly, the Holy Spirit uh, take care of us. The Holy Spirit will guide us. In my life, I believe only what uh, the Holy Spirit is there. That's what uh, see, uh, whichever the church I go and preach, I will tell them the Holy Spirit is there to guide you. It will help you in your life. In my service, 42 year service, God has taken care of me. God has led me properly. I am the 66 years old man now. Still God is taking care of me. Dear members, it is very important that see what uh, good things, not the bad things. God has given our eyes to see the good things, not the bad things. Suddenly God will tell others, Holy Spirit will say, say that uh, you are looking bad things. Don't do that. It will direct us. It will, it will tell us in our mind that uh, what you are doing is wrong. What you are seeing is wrong. That's what it says. So dear members, it is very important that first uh, think properly. Secondly, we have to see which is the good one which is the acceptable to God. That one you have to see. Then third one is, directs our hearing. The Holy Spirit directs us to hear which is good. It says that in Isaiah chapter 55, verses three, it will say, it will say like this, incline your ear and come unto me, hear and your soul shall live and I will make an everlasting covenant with you, even the sure mercies of David. Dear members, it says that incline your ear, look, hear properly. Whatever the message is coming, hear properly. Some are, what happens, they don't want to listen to the messages. In my service, I am saying, I was a three years, three years in one church, 300 members were there. 300 members, I was a pastor, I was doing the pastor work there. Many people, what happens, they go out of the church. They don't sit in the church properly because they are not interested to hear the message. Pastors are not preaching, preaching their own message. Their pastors are preaching the message which comes through the scriptures. So we have to hear properly. When you hear properly, when you understand, definitely what happens, the Holy Spirit will guide us. Hear properly. Sometimes what happens, I did not hear properly, sir. Why? Why? Because we are not listening properly. We are not hearing properly. Hear the messages. Understand the messages. It is a God's message. God, has, God is telling us to do what is good. God is telling us uh, here what is good, not the bad things. <coughs> the Holy Spirit is there. It says the Holy Spirit directs those who incline their ears to God's word will and way. What is your will? According to God's will, you have to hear. According to God's way, you have to walk. Dear brothers and sisters, dear members, it is very important in our life. What happens? According to the God's word, according to the God's will, according to the God's way, you have to go hear properly when you are going out when you are when you are hearing the words hear properly and understand what i am doing is correct or not is it correct or not think twice think and speak properly think and see properly think and hear properly when you do all these things what happens? God will take care of us and God will not leave us 
to us. The Holy Spirit always with us. We have to call the Holy Spirit when you don't have the Holy Spirit. Many people, they say that, uh, where, sir, we don't have Holy Spirit. Because we are not inviting the Holy Spirit to come to my life or our life. Invite the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is very important. For that sake, only God has given us the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit will uh, guide you what all the things I have done on this earth when I was there here 33 years and half. Dear members, this is the important message that uh, the Holy Spirit gives the direction. Use the direction of the Holy Spirit. Then fourth one it says, directs our speaking. Here it says, Matthew chapter 10 verses 20, For it is not he that speak, but the spirit of your father which speaketh in you. See, very, very, very nice. Nicely it says that, uh, For it is not uh, he that speak, but the spirit of your father which speaketh in you. The Holy Spirit is a speak to us. The Holy Spirit is a directs us. It will speak, it will tell that uh, what you are speaking is not correct. What you are speaking is not good. So change your speaking. That's what it says. So what you are doing here, the Christians must uh, constantly guide guard their speech list. They speak harshly, harshly and unkindly. Some people, what happens, they speak harshly. They speak unkind of words. I have heard that one. I have seen as the Christians I am telling, not other people. Christians, people, people are using the bad words they are fighting. Where in the church? This is what is happening. Dear members, what happened? They, it says that the Holy Spirit, a Father which speaketh in us, it will speak to you. It will tell to us what uh, speak, don't speak harshly. Don't speak uh, unkind of words, unkindly words. Your word should be what uh, properly used properly according to the word word of God because we are Christians. Then people should not say that uh, are you a Christian? You are using these words? No, you should not use. That's what uh, the Bible says. That, that what, that's what the, Christ, the Christian people must think that I must uh, speak properly. Then some people, they speak very hardly and they speak very what harshly. Then they say that uh, after the th after thinking, again they say that I am sorry. Why? You have to think first, then only you have to speak. After speaking, don't tell sorry. This is what uh, the Bible says to us. This is what the Holy Spirit uh, guides us. So we must depend on the direction of the Holy Spirit to give us the right word at the right time and the right place. See, you must depend on the direction of the Holy Spirit when you are speaking. Spirit, to give us the right word, ask the Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, give me the kind words, not the unwanted words. Give me the kind words to speak. You have to speak nicely. You have to speak the which, which is uh, acceptable to God. That words we have to speak. So dear members, this is the thing we have to use in our life. When you are speaking, take the Holy Spirit. Ask the Holy Spirit. Spirit, guide me. Take care of me. I am speaking sometimes unwanted things. I am speaking harshly. Lord, or Jesus Christ, or the Holy Spirit, you lead me. 
you take care of me and uh, you will help me that's what you have to do then lastly you have to see that the holy spirit directs our doing it says john chapter 6 verses 27 it says labor for that me which endureth unto everlasting life what you are doing millions of people are busy with the selfish interests and fail to do work god's works as they should they are selfishness they are having they are not uh, doing properly they are uh, what uh, whatever they wanted to do for the god they are not doing it they are doing unwanted things you have to think that you have to understand that god direct me when i am doing some work when i am going according to some work when i am doing please help me to do properly whatever the work suppose if i am working in office according to god you have to work not work, working for uh, for the officers are not working for the principal not working for the headmaster you are working for god do it properly doing properly <coughs> then it says we must give god first place <coughs> wherever you are there there first place in our home in our society in our working place first give the place to god then what happens sir you must let the holy spirit direct our labors whatever the labor we are doing what happens god will lead us and the holy spirit will take care of us the holy spirit leads us so dear members once again i am telling to all the members listen to the holy spirit ask the holy spirit definitely the holy spirit will guide us it will make us to think properly it will uh, make us to what uh, see properly it will make us to hear properly and it will make us to speak properly and it will make us to direct our doing dear members once again my humble request for all the members use the holy spirit in our daily life when you use the holy spirit definitely god will take care of us and god will help us and we will be going according to god may the lord bless these words and all the members this sabbath evening thank you one and all <clears throat> thank you pastor jaswant uh, for that very practical and applicable message that uh, we can use today putting god first that can be so difficult in our thoughts and allow the holy spirit to lead us in what we say and what we hear that's most definitely a great advice even for our daily living the closing uh, song that we will hear is called what a day that will be by the heritage singers
by the hand and leads me to the promised land. What a day, glorious day that will be. There'll be no sorrows there and no more burdens to bear. There'll be no more sickness and no more pain, no more hurting over there. And forever I'm going to be with my God who died for you and me. Oh, what a day, glorious day that Yeshuant will offer the closing prayer. Our Heavenly Father, we thank you this Sabbath, the beginning of the Sabbath you have given to us to come thy presence and worship thee and adore thee. Father, be with us. Be with all the members. Give them the strength. Give them the courage. Give them the understanding power to understand thee. We have heard the message. The Holy Spirit is very important in our life. The Holy Spirit guides us. It will lead us. So for that sake, Father, whichever the members are there in the church, take care of them and make them to understand what is the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is there to guide each and every one. When you go according to the Holy Spirit, Definitely, we'll be there very near to our God. Father, be with us, especially be with the pastor, just pastor. Give him the strength, give him the courage. Lead, when he leads the people, so many people that can come and hear the messages, they can understand who is the real God. Father, be with him. Take care of his family. Lord, be with the Dr. Sohona and family. Lord, so whatever the things they are doing for the God, help, help them to understand they can do it. Many people for that help, with that help, they can understand about the God. Once again, be with all the members, be with the Sabbath day without <coughs> doing any wrong things on the Sabbath day. Keep it holy. And understand the Holy Sabbath is not doing any our own things. 
to do the God's things. Be with us. Help us to understand better. When the sun comes on the clouds of heaven, you may go along with him. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you all for joining. May the Lord be with us. Keep us safe. Tomorrow, uh, Dr. Jessen Israel will be speaking during the divine service here at Hopeside. You can use the same credentials to join if you can. And uh, next week, uh, Mr. Danny Goris, who is the son-in-law of uh, Mr. Pastor Wesley, he will be giving the message. Even though it states that Mr. Meshach uh, Paramanandam will do it, uh, he will be rescheduled, I uh, imagine. Of course, we thank Mr. Meshach for always filling in whenever we need. We have enjoyed and been blessed by his message as well. So now, let us meet and greet and do not forget to remember the great human suffering that is going on and for peace to somehow come back to Ukraine. Let us meet and greet now. Pastor Yeshwan. Thank you. Sorry, thank I you. don't see you, but thank you for that very timely message. And we really need the Holy Spirit today to guide us. Thank, thank, you, thank you. you, thank you, thank you. Thank you very much, thank you very much. God has led me through your church. I'm very happy to speak in your church. Very nice. Where are you pastoring, uh, Pastor Yaswan? I'm a retired person now. I'm a retired oh. one. I'm going to all the churches, whichever the churches they are inviting me, and I'm going and giving the messages. Nice. Very nice. Very nice. Yeah, I'm not retired for the I'm retired for the teacher and the headmaster, but I'm not retired for the giving the messages, God's work. That's good. Very good. God bless your ministry. Thank you, thank you very, very much. Thank you very much. Pray for us. Pray for me. Definitely. Uh, Thank you, Pastor Ashwan, for that beautiful message. And um, happy Sabbath to everyone who has joined. Thank yeah, you, we Stana. have good attendance today. Thank you. Yes, we do. We do have very good attendance. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you very much, Shona. Well, good night, everyone. Good to meet all of you. And Good worship night. with you. Good night. Good night and Good happy night. Sabbath.